This embryo is duly accredited. Le 28 de 29 juillet, au camp d'Ashraf, to the particular situation of the Iranian citizens living in Camp Ashraf in Iraq. To an armed and defenseless resident of Camp Ashraf. How crucial for us member states. President Ahmadinejad does not represent the people of Iran. در اجلاس شورای حقوق بشر ملل متحد در ژنو نماینده بنیاد فرانس لیبرتی با قرائت متن سخنرانی خانم دانیل میتران با نوی اول پیشین فرانسه از ملل متحد خواست تا حقوق تصریح شده در کنوانسیون چهارم ژنو را برای ساکنان اشرف تضمین نماید خانم میتران خواستار استقرار یک هیئت دائم از دفتر کمیسر عالی و یونامی در اشرف شد همچنین نمایندگان چند سازمان حقوق بشری دیگر نیز درباره جنایت علیه بشریت در اشرف و جنایات رژیم در سرکوب قیام مردم ایران صحبت کردند. به گزارشی از این اجلاس توجه فرمایید. مرسی مسئول پرزیدن. Cette intervention aurait dû être prononcée hier après-midi par Mme Mitterrand, qui malheureusement était contrainte de regagner Paris pour des engagements urgents. C'est donc en son nom que je vous présente le texte suivant. Madame la haute commissaire, nous tenons à vous manifester ici notre entier soutien. J'ai retenu de votre rapport que pour construire la paix, et je cite, il faut résister aux tentations de compromettre les droits de l'homme pour des intérêts politiques à court terme. En dépit de l'appel que vous avez adressé au gouvernement irakien au mois d'octobre dernier, le 28-29 juillet au camp d'Ashraf, Les forces gouvernementales ont fait violemment irruption. On déplore à ce jour 11 morts, 500 blessés et 37 personnes retenues en otage sans aucune charge légale à leur encontre. Ces personnes étaient et demeurent juridiquement protégées par la 4e Convention de Genève. Et nous déplorons que les États-Unis d'Amérique n'aient pas assumé leurs responsabilités juridiques dans la protection des habitants du camp d'Ashraf. Nous demandons au gouvernement irakien de protéger ces réfugiés de tout déplacement forcé, expulsion ou rapatriement et de leur garantir leurs droits fondamentaux, y compris le droit à un jugement équitable et de s'abstenir de toute action qui pourrait mettre en danger leur vie ou leur sécurité. À l'ONU, nous demandons d'assurer les garanties minimums des droits stipulés dans la 4e Convention de Genève et de mettre en place, dans les meilleurs délais, au sein du camp d'Ashraf, une délégation permanente conjointe du Haut Commissariat aux droits de l'homme et de l'UNAMI afin de dissuader toute nouvelle reprise de violence et d'obtenir la mise en liberté des 36 personnes retenues en détention arbitraire. Nous demandons aussi au gouvernement des États-Unis d'Amérique d'assurer le soutien et la protection de cette délégation afin qu'elle puisse assurer en toute sécurité son rôle d'observatoire et sa mission de dissuasion. Je vous remercie. I give the floor to the Asian Legal Resource Center. Madam High Commissioner, we share the concern you expressed yesterday about the grave violations of international human rights and humanitarian law that occur in the ongoing conflicts as civilians become the target of violent attacks motivated by prejudice and hatred. In this respect, we want to draw attention to the particular situation of the Iranian citizens living in Camp Ashraf in Iraq, whose protection should be ensured by the state of Iraq, who have become the target of severe violations of human and humanitarian rights. The documented acts of violence perpetrated by Iraqi forces on the 28th and 29th of July this year against the unarmed residents of the camp are not acceptable and need urgent attention by this council and the office of the High Commissioner. The crackdown on the 3,400 residents, of which a third are women and children, ended in 11 killed and some 500 wounded. 36 residents were arbitrarily detained by the Iraqi forces and are being unlawfully held in prison despite an order by an Iraqi judge to release them. Madam High Commissioner, we would be grateful to know which steps your office has taken in this regard, and we urge you, in view of threats of further and worse violations by the Iraqi government, to provide a monitoring presence in the Ashraf camp by the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights in conjunction with UNAMI. Thank you. Thank you. You and watch. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam High Commissioner, Thank you for calling attention to the victims of torture. My father was tortured by a vicious regime, so I know what it means. 
Thank you for spotlighting discrimination in Tibet, the violation of women's rights in Sudan, and the shooting of human rights defenders in Russia. Thank you also for putting a spotlight on the Islamic Republic of Iran, its fraudulent elections in June, brutal arrest of peaceful protesters, murder of Neda and other innocents, and rape of female and male detainees. Detailed evidence of these horrific crimes was released this week by opposition leader Mehdi Karoubi. This is the government that tortured my father. And sitting next to me is Ahmed Batibi in this room. They tortured him for nine years for attending a student protest. This is the government that has at least 160 juveniles on death row in violation of Article 3 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 6 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, and Article 70, Set 37 of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. The evidence is documented in this new report by Stop Child Executions entitled From Cradle to Coffin, a Report on Child Executions in Iran. Madam High Commissioner, you spoke of human rights, courage, and political will. Mr. Batebi and I are here today to present this appeal by 50 Iranian human rights defenders. We urge you to call for an immediate special session of this council to investigate Iran's gross violation of all basic human rights and to take action to protect the victims. After June, the world knows President Ahmadinejad does not represent the people of Iran. The people of Iran want freedom, democracy, and human rights. The abuse are getting worse and worse by the day. There's no time to spare. Please, we need your help. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I now give the floor to the Women's Human Rights International Association. Uh, Madam High Commissioner, you have rightly expressed concern about another global trend, namely attack against peaceful opponents and critics of those at the helm of power. I'm calling to ask you for your immediate intervention to take a serious action against the recent savage attack of violent Iraqi armed forces last July to unarmed and defenseless residents of Camp Ashraf, including 1,000 women. This deadly attack resulted in 11 residents to be killed, over 500 injured, and 36 more were arbitrarily arrested. The women were not only injured, but also threatened to be raped by the Iraqi forces. This was in clear violation of the Fort Geneva Convention and the protected person's status of the residents of Camp Ashraf. Since then, 36 captives have been in hunger strike for some 45 days now to protest the illegal and unjust arrest. Hundreds of women and men in Ashraf and their families around Europe, USA, and Canada have also been in hunger strike for 43 days. Now to protect.